So as we start to reopen Florida, health experts, they agree we won't be able to do it safely unless we can track the spread of the virus successfully. That is done through something that is called contact tracing. Nightside's Josh Sidorowitz spoke to a USF student who spent two weeks doing it in hard hit South Florida to show you how it works and why we might not actually have enough people here to do it. You really are kind of going piece by piece and trying to trying to form the complete picture. Think of Miriam Escobar as a virus detective. That's really what we are, we're investigators, we're PIs. So. She just spent two weeks in hard hit South Florida, one of more than 60 USF faculty and students volunteering across the state to help with so-called contact tracing. Quite literally, the process of contacting people who we know have a disease, in this case, COVID-19, and then tracing where they've been and who they might have been with to hopefully stop it from spreading any further. We have to establish what a close contact is first. Anybody who was within six feet of you that you spend 10 minutes with. So it's not somebody that you're like randomly passing by in a store. You, you're not literally trying to retrace every step and in every individual. There's certain criteria that's got to be met. Yes. A fairly basic old school process, but critical, requiring a lot of time and manpower. Manpower Florida is lacking it. In an emergency like this, it's recommended a state have 30 tracers for every 100,000 people. According to analysis by NPR, states are averaging about 12 per 100,000. In Michigan, for example, a state with half the population of Florida, well, they plan to have 35 tracers for every 100,000 people. Here in Florida, we have just about 500. That's 2.3 tracers for every 100,000 people. Contact tracing, it was always part of our strategy. Governor DeSantis says we can probably add more if circumstances warrant that. But right now, there appear no plans to do so. That was very well done and put together by Josh and our team here. Now, the CDC also wants to look at ways to do this without needing so many people by using technology instead. Remember, Apple and Google announced last month that they're working on an app that would alert you if you came into contact with someone who tested positive for the virus.